Hey guys, what's up? KDM Tech back with another review video and today I'm going to review a compact camera from Sony. It's called the Sony RX Mark III. And yes, I know Sony has already released its Mark IV and it's been out for about 6 months but this video is entirely about Mark III after using it over a year. Sony released its powerhouse compact camera, the Sony RX Mark IV, this July over its very successful RX Mark III of last year. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what extra features does the Mark IV have over Mark III and is the upgrade worth it. Well, I've been using my RX Mark III for over a year now and I'm completely satisfied with the camera. So will I upgrade to the Mark IV? Well, the answer is no. Though it's more expensive and adds few more video wise features, it pretty much delivers the same photo quality in similar body. The new Mark IV looks exactly the same as last one and almost the same as the original Mark I. Overall using the Mark IV is the same as using as the last year's Mark III, so I will mostly be focusing on the new features here. The biggest addition is the 4K video. The new camera can record in 4K. Looking at the 4K footage, it's richly detailed as anybody would expect. Despite using the completely new but the same size and resolution sensor, the image quality from the Mark IV looks quite similar to those of Mark III. The video quality is very good, the camera still comes with tons of control to get the results you want along with the wider lens. Well, let's talk about the things I really love about the Mark III. Firstly, the full manual control you get in the video mode. And it has similar kind of image stabilization that Sony offers in its camcorder line. The downside of the camera is lack of touchscreen, battery life. I mean, it's really okay if you have a couple of spare batteries. Another problem with the camera is the camera shuts down if you push the inbuilt viewfinder down, which kind of sucks. To conclude, it's true that the Mark IV has a new sensor and is capable to record in 4K video and has several new video wise features. But to me personally, all these additional features in Mark IV over Mark III is not quite enough to upgrade. Again, it's my personal opinion and yours could be entirely different. But you guys might have a different opinion, please do let me know in the comment section below. And again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and as always, I will definitely see you guys in another video.